In Proverbs 23, verse 7, the Bible says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The heart here means the inner part of your mind. What do we do when we are thinking unhappy thoughts? And we know we're thinking unhappy thoughts, but we can't seem to stop thinking unhappy thoughts. What do we do when we remember something that someone said that was belittling? What do we do when we feel all keyed up? And we know that we're keyed up. We know that we're tense. We know that we're making ourselves feel anxious. Well, we have to replace the thought. We can't keep driving a car in the same direction over a cliff. We need to turn around and go the opposite way. And actually, this is what the meaning of repent is in the Bible. It is turn around from the way you're thinking or going and go higher towards God. When we replace the negative thoughts with positive ones, it is as simple as that. The mind can't go in two directions at once. It's not a seesaw. Once you turn around, you will build up steam, you'll build up momentum, and you'll be going in the right way. Anyone who has tried to do this, though, realizes this is not easy. The mind, the human mind, doesn't want to turn around. It wants to keep going in the way it's going, even when it knows that it's going towards a disaster which means that you'll ruin your day. It can be done, though. Thought by thought, step by step. If we would know what the one thought is that could change our life, we would ask ourselves, what thought am I thinking right now? Now think about that. What thought are you thinking about right now? If you're trying to do something, if you're trying to meet one goal in your life, what is the thought that you're thinking about right now? And does it need to be <laughs> gone through a repenting process? Turning around the worry, the disaster, the fearful thoughts, and go towards God. Go higher. We may feel that we have little control over some of the happenings in our life. We may feel like a victim. But we do have control over our thoughts. And the more mastery you have in prayer, you'll realize that the power of your thoughts can change your outer life and the events and the outcomes. When we try thought by thought, we take control and we find over and over again that it is well worth the effort if you've only saved your day. You have had a successful conclusion. If you save your week, if you save your month, if you save your job, if you save your marriage, if you save your health, our change of thought, it affects every area of our life. We find that over time we are healthier and a lot happier, more prosperous, a lot more prosperous, and we're more loving and we're easier to get along with. Today, I pray that you choose, you make the choice to think positive, powerful, spiritual thoughts.